Hello guys, uh, this is Jacob. Uh, today uh, we're gonna do a video on a uh, LLM tool called uh, Kotlin. So Kotlin is an open source RIG based tool for chatting with the documents. So it's similar to a private GPT. Um, I probably will create a tutorial on that. But uh, um, the uh, Kotlin is web based, so you literally can be able to just access it um, if you set up a website. Uh, so it's very convenient. Um, I think it's recently got very popular, so I um, try to uh, do a tutorial on this one, how to set it up on Kaggle, so that uh, people can just start using it and test it to see uh, if they uh, good, it's good for uh, their projects. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, let's go to Kaggle.com, uh, open a notebook, let's just call it Kotlin, and then we just uh, set up a, uh, some uh, functions uh, to run the bash script uh, using Python, um, as, as, as we usually do in other uh, tutorials. So we just um, add a function called run, so this will um, basically allow the bash command to run in this um, uh, notebook. And then uh, we just uh, set up Olama. So uh, Kotlin offers a couple of LM options. Um, Olama is one of them, and it's fairly easy to set up. So we just use Olama instead of uh, a lot of like Open API, GPT, uh, or Graph uh, RG options. We just use Olama for this uh, demo purpose. And uh, after that, uh, we just um, make sure that um, we use Supervisor to make sure, uh, Olama run more stable, because uh, sometimes um, the Kego um, is not very friendly with the backend process uh, of uh, Olama. So, um, so supervisors to make sure that uh, Olama is uh, able to run uh, more stable on Kaggle. That's uh, that's it. Um, so um, this um, uh, supervisor uh, basically can do like pip install or apt install. Either is fine. And after that, we just um, basically uh, do a uh, Olama service configuration. Um, in the supervisor, so we just add a uh, Alma service as a backend service, and then we just uh, set up an environment variables and also the command, which is uh, Alma serve. Uh, this is very similar uh, if you run the bash command uh, without all these supervisor and notebooks. So this is basically a default uh, Alma um, command to actually set up the Alma server. Uh, and after that, we just set a auto start equals true or restart equals to true, and uh, so this will actually um, restart if there's an issue uh, with Llama on Kaggle, uh, and also we log the uh, logs so we can check what's going on with the uh, Llama server. So um, this is basically a supervisor setup for Llama on uh, Kaggle, or maybe Colab. But uh, so this is actually tested on Kaggle, so it works. And um, uh, after that, we just check. Um, uh, if the supervisor is running, of course, right now it, it wasn't running when we uh, first um, installed supervisor. Uh, to uh, start supervisor, we have to uh, run a uh, supervisor stop start and uh, check the status, and then uh, we have to uh, run a uh, supervisor uh, cuddle to actually do a reload, reread, or update if there's update in the configurations. Um, so, okay, check the log to. Uh, Basically, see uh, if uh, the Olama is actually starting. Uh, so, so basically, it is starting, and then we, we check the uh, Olama service um, using the supervisor call command. It will show that Olama service is indeed running. Okay. After that, we just uh, using Olama to pull two models. One is for LLM, the other is for embedding. So the uh, Olama 3.1 from Facebook um, is for LLM, and the Nomic embed text is for embedding. Uh, and um, after we pull the model, we just do a Llama list to show uh, the models that are available in Llama. And after that, uh, we uh, clone the Karma uh, project, and then we just follow the official documentation to set that up uh, in the notebook. So we basically do a clone and then install uh, dependencies. And after that, we also need to install the PDF. Um, so uh, just uh, this is all from their official documentation. I uh, just create a, a directory uh, under libs. Um, it's a libs ktm, ktm, and assets pre built. So after we create the directory, we go to the directory and then we just download the Mozilla PDFJS. 
and uh, uh, we just do unzip and uh, that's it um, so I think finally we have to set up the environment variables and uh, I think the default might be okay but I just do a little bit uh, change uh, just using the local model as llama 3.1 instead of llama 3.1 AB um, and then that's for the uh, environment setup and uh, after that we uh, have to set up on grok because um, the Kanon is uh, based on Gradle. So if you are wrong local um, Or uh, maybe on the remote server uh, when uh, you set up it will uh, spin up the uh, Gradle by default, but Kego is not really friendly with Gradle. So we um, use on grok, which is uh, compatible with Kego. So that being said, we just uh, set up uh, grok uh, and grok this way and uh, we also need to um, go to the ungrok uh, console to grab the auth token um, we just um, paste in the token using this script and um, after that all um, ungrok will set up a uh, conversion in the uh, in this path so root uh, configure and ungrok ungrok yaml so if you cat and do a cat then you'll see the token has been set in this file so which ungrok can read from and after that, because it's actually default to Gradle, so uh, the port is 7860. So um, so we have basically to route the traffic from uh, the ungrok to this local port. Uh, so uh, to do that, we just um, use ungrok and then basically uh, do an ungrok connect. So basically ungrok will connect to uh, the um, local port a local port on the notebook as 7860 and after that uh, one group basically will just check the port is basically available on the local notebook uh, so this is the public url it's very similar to gradle and uh, just uh, basically route the traffic from public traffic to a local address and port so um, the basically will show uh, this link a little bit and um, the uh, last step is just basically uh, make sure that um, the uh, Gradle link is turned off uh, because the Gradle is not very stable with Kego, so we just turn the share to false, so it'll uh, basically only uh, spin up the uh, service and does not provide the Gradle public URL. So uh, once uh, we just write this uh, app.py file and uh, and then we basically just run the python .app.py and we're good to go so so after uh, you run the python .app.py this is also from their uh, official documentation after you run that it will uh, run a local url uh, basically on this port so it's 7860 so this 7860 so this is where uh, the uh, ungrok is listening so after you spin up the uh, 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 this uh, instance uh, for, uh, for the Catamount instance, then um, you can just click the link here uh, that we generated earlier uh, using ngrok. So it will be able to access uh, the service on the notebook. So let's go to this link, which I also prepared here. So we just go to this link. This is basically a temporary link for uh, folks to test. So uh, just go to this link and then use the official login in from their uh, GitHub repo. Just, uh, I think you can scroll down and then the login uh, they specified in here. So yeah, the default username, just add an admin, just use that uh, to log it in. So you're able to uh, just start uh, chatting uh, with the Karma um, uh, uh, service, so which is using Llama and uh, all of my models in this case and then you can check the uh, the files you can just upload um, whatever documents and you you basically want to talk to and uh, uh, on the resources tab you can just go to lm to pick the default one so now we actually pick olama so you basically just click that and uh, you can see that basically it's running on local and then there's a basically a default configuration and uh, you can also run a test and to see if that works. And um, uh, also uh, you can run embeddings. Basically, we also use Olama as default. You can click that to set it as default. So then okay, also you can test 
that model as well, uh, which is embedding model. After that, um, we're good to go. And just go back to the chat tab. Uh, you can start chatting, just like we did. So uh, if you want to load it, upload more documents, you can just click uh, shop file, just click here, and then just drop the documentation, and you can start chatting. OK, um, so that's uh, about it. So that's basically a quick uh, overview of this um, Kotamon uh, RH-based uh, open source uh, tool for the uh, document uh, analysis and uh, chatting with documents. So hopefully this is helpful. And uh, if you uh, like this video, um, please uh, subscribe to support the channel. And uh, thank you so much. And see you in the next one.